<clears throat> Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the shortest video in the history of all videos, but I'm getting straight to the point here because we have people to entertain. Our friends are making um, fish and shrimp and a bunch of sides and I'm in charge of the dessert. This is a super easy lemon lush recipe. I got this from my aunt. She just made it when we were um, in Corpus Christi for Easter and I just had to do it. So I didn't think to turn on my camera while I was doing this, but then I realized I've never made a dessert on here and that maybe I should do that. So I've got half of this done basically. So in the bottom here is a graham cracker crust. And for the crust, I just used crunched up graham crackers, butter and sugar. I'll link this recipe down below. Um, and then for the next layer is eight ounces of cream cheese. The cream cheese needs to be softened two cups of powdered sugar, and a half of a smaller container of Cool Whip. And then you blend all that together with an electric mixer and put it on top. Oh, I forgot to mention too, the graham cracker crust, when, um, sorry, I just had a brain fart. When you make that, you put it on the bottom of the pan, and I put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about eight minutes, just so that it hardens. And then I put this layer on of the cream cheese and the powdered sugar um, and the Cool Whip. And then I let it cool again in the fridge. It doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter. Probably 20 minutes. Then, while that's cooling, I actually make the um, lemon pudding here. And this is just two boxes of uh, the Jello brand lemon pudding and two cups of cold milk and then you cool this as well and you only need to cool this for about five minutes till it sets so once I've got my graham cracker layer and my cream cheese sugar layer which I will not be eating this recipe because I can't so once this lemon pudding is cooled and actually I'm gonna use this bigger spatula here Pioneer Woman, of course. Oh, this cutting board I forgot to show in that video, too. That's also Pioneer Woman. All right. So I just spoon this or spatula this into the center because I like to spread outward just to make sure it's got an even, even layer. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Mine will not be perfect. I'm kind of on a... Not really a time crunch, but we've got friends and family here, and I'm not going to be spending my time on a video. Not that it's not important, but you need family time too. So then I just take this smaller spatula, excuse my dog's barking, and actually, I lie. I'm going to use this bigger one here just to get it initially spread out. And then I'll use the smaller one just to kind of get in the crevices, the sides of the pan. And the dish I'm using is just a run-of-the-mill Pyrex, um, Pyrex glassware. Okay, so you can see the lemon pudding is spreading. And I have to show this too. Here is the lid. Favorite color. All right, so once I get all this spread out, I will show you the next step. All right, you guys, so now that this is all set, I've got the lemon pudding on there. I'm going to add a layer of Cool Whip. Don't I have to say it like Family Guy, right? It's not like a rule. I can't say it right, but whatever. So anyway. Put the cool whip, put that shit right on there. And you're just gonna mash it on down. Hoy. a lot of work. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not. It's easy. 
Easy peasy recipe. All right, so once that's all spread, I won't bore you with doing that. I will be back. All right, you guys. Usually, I did this off camera because usually I use a offset spatula uh, for frosting or whatever like that, but I don't know where mine went. So anyway, it's all jiggly. It's all set. See, the layers kind of meld into one another, so but you can basically see them. So the last thing to do is zest the lemon onto the dessert. I use um, just like a handheld cheese grater. <laughs> I find it's the easiest. So anyway, zest away. And I don't do too much. Um, I just like a little little sprinkle for flavor. I just love lemon. Lemon all day long. So yeah. Then you gotta tap it. Tap it, tap, tap. Just to get the flavor. Um, oh, and use the right size of size. Use the right side of the cheese grater. I flipped it for a second. So yeah. Get yourself a really good fresh fresh lemon and zest away. Alright you guys. That is it for this video. Alright you guys, I know I kind of already signed off on this one, but look at these beautiful flowers my husband brought me. That's one thing I will say, I always have fresh flowers. I just love them. Flowers make me so happy. It's the little, little things. And my little milk can inspired vase. I have this, even though we live in an RV, I do have a knack for decorating. So I have my little farmhouse style and another beautiful day on the river. Oh, there's my husband right there actually and my dog. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope y'all are having a blessed evening, blessed day, and I hope y'all have a good weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!